Hey, what's going on everybody? I am the Lone Wolf and welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing our in-game garage tour and we are starting on the tools tab of the in-game shop. So that means that when you open it up, it will be on brands. We have already completed all the vehicles in our previous videos. Now we are moving on to tools. Today we are going to be reviewing anything that holds grain. These would be trailers and auger wagons. We are going back to our roots as we have all the trailers lined up. So this is a kind of our original setup for our in-game garage tour until I decided to set it up like a dealership. But since it's trailers, I kind of wanted to do it like this where it's very easy to zip through them because we actually have quite a bit of equipment to look through. So let's start this up. Yeet! All right. We will start with our little Stroutman SEK trailer. This is the um, base game trailer that you get while playing Farming Simulator. We will find this in trailers. It is the SEK 802. This is $8,000 base price. It can hold a maximum of 12,000 liters, and it can be attached to both the Fort Schritt, any, both of the um, uh, attachments on pretty much all these smaller trailers it is all attached to either this Fort Schritt articulated trailer or this uh, K Agro liner one. So yeah, this can hold all those things on the bottom. So this is one of the uh, best trailers that I ever use on my starting farms. You can either have, let's get to it, to the base one. This is the bale loading form. This costs nothing extra. Capacity 4,000 costs nothing extra. But when you go to 8,000, that adds $2,000. When you go to 12,000, that adds $4,000. When you go to 8,000 and 12,000, that has the availability to add a cover, which adds $500. And in wheels, you either have Trelleborg standards for no extra money, or Michelin standards for $1,100 extra. So the maximum price for this trailer is a very good deal. This is probably one of the most uh, affordable and good dealing trailers that I have ever used on the game, $13,600. Moving on, we have the Fort Schritt trailer. This, I've got it blue with a red tarp and pink in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month here in October, at the time of this recording, of course. This is the Fort Schritt 8, or HW80. This is $8,500 base price. It can hold 10750 maximum liters can be attached to itself and the HKD302. It can hold all the same stuff as the Stroutman. Main color can be changed. The blue, red, and stainless, that looks very cool. I should have done that for my uh, main color. I should use that a lot more often. Rim color can be changed. I, of course, just did it to pink, which adds $300. Design color adds $500. So that one probably looks the best. The way that I would buy this in game on any other day but today or this month pretty much, <laughs> I would do it like this with the blue tarp. Oh, hang on. Stainless with a blue tarp. That would probably be how I would do it. Either that or green. That looks very nice too. Honestly, the tarp, any color tarp goes good with this. That stainless color, but with all the paint job and Michelin wheels, which are wide, you either have Trelleborg standards or wides, Michelin wides, or lizards. Lizards don't cost anything, but Michelins do, as well as Trelleborg. I personally like the wide tires from Trelleborg, making the maximum price for this Fort Schritt HW80 $14,100. Now we move on to the Farm Tech trailer. This is probably the best and most versatile trailer of them all. This one can be attached to itself over and over and over again. There is actually a video, I will try and leave a link to the video down below, where a YouTuber actually tries to attach, I don't remember how much, but it is like a thousand of these trailers together and pull them with a tiny tractor. It is absolutely amazing to watch. If I do leave it in the link below, uh, in a link below, 
go watch it and get, live, leave a like and subscribe to that channel. I don't remember who it was, but it is an amazing video. It is so satisfying to watch a guy have a bunch of these trailers, attach them all to each all to themselves, and then pull them with such a small tra uh, tractor. I think he actually pulls them with um, this tractor right here. I mean, think about that. A thousand of these trailers being pulled by a tiny Massey Ferguson like that. But yeah, this is the third trailer. This is the TDK 1600. It is $19,000 uh, base price. So actually hops up from the Fort Trip price by quite a bit. 14,000 liters uh, can be attached to both this, this, and it can also be attached to itself over and over and over again. Configurations are either lizard wheels. I don't like them at all. Trelleborg wheels for 1300 and Michelin wheels for 2200 The Michelin wheels look by far the best. The Trelleborgs just look like, look like they have way too little of tire on the uh, tire wall. This one just looks like it has a little bit of tire on the tire wall, but it looks v a lot better. The maximum price for this FarmTech TDK 1600 is $21,200. Now we move on to the twins, or pretty darn close to twins. These things are backwards in the shop. This one base price is actually cheaper than this one base price, but this one comes before that one. These are pretty much, these are literally the same exact trailers, except for the fact that the wheels are either set together or spread apart, and this one is articulated where this one's got a fixed hitch. We will look at both of these at the same time. We have the K Agroliner TDK302 for $27,000 uh, base price that holds $21,000. And the K Agroliner HKD302 for $25,000 base price, which can hold, once again, $21,000. The TDK302 can be changed just like this $800 for a paint job, Trelleborgs, Standards, or Michelins, um, $750 added for Michelins. White or color does not change anything. The maximum price for this trailer is $28,550. Now the HKD302, you can change, once again, the color. Nothing changes in wheels. I, it's kind of odd. So technically this trailer is $25,000, $25,800, even though you'd think that wheels would change because the Michelin's normally, when they're wide tires, they would add a little bit of money. But yeah, those are the K Agro liners. I almost call these Kroger liners once. I mean, Kroger liners, where did I get those? I mean, it's K Agro liners. It's ka, It's pretty much Kagro ka liner. <laughs> Kagro liner instead of K Agro liner. Now we move on to the big trailers. These are big ones compared to these. I mean, just look at this comparison. If I can jump up onto the top of these. Come on, let me jump up there. Look at the comparison of this Joskin to these K Agroliners. Oh my gosh. Oh crap, I fell into the tra uh, trailer. Yeah, this is the Joskin Transpace 8000 slash 27. It's found right after these K Agroliners. It is $35,000. Uh, base price. This is so much better deal than both of these put together because look at the, uh, you get 10,000 liters of extra capacity and you'll only pay, I think it's like 8,000 more. This can hold everything, uh, mi uh, Trelleborgs or Michelins. Michelins add 1,700 making the maximum price for this Transbase, $36,700. Now we move on to the Crampe Kipper. This is the Crampe Kipper Bandit 750. This is an amazing looking trailer. It's got a, the cool uh, f uh, bending ladder. And the ladder actually works, I think. Oh, the ladder actually works. That is dope. But yeah, you'll find this right after the Joskin. It is the Bandit 750 for $51,000 base price. So it once again hops up from that Joskin quite, by quite a bit. $39,200 and can be attached to the SB700. Guys, leave it in the comment section what the SB700 is. I have no idea, unless that's a weight. I'm going to check in weights really quick. I mean, I'm kind of showing you guys something early before I actually show it in a video. But the SB7, Yep, it is the sewer weight. Okay. But yeah, 
that is what I was really confused about. I mean, I was about to say, what the heck is the SB700 that you can actually be attached to this Bandit 750? And it ends up that it is a sewer branded weight. Uh, Trelleborgs and Michelins once again adds money with Michelins. It's 2100 extra, making the maximum price for this $53,100. Now we move on to the big K Agro liner, it looks like. Yes. If I, oh, crap. I can't fit in there. I can't see the model number. But that means that we'll just have to go in here and look at it. This is the K Agro liner, T A W, the TAW 30. This is $56,000 uh, base price, 45,000 liters capacity. And once again, just as normal, the Trelleborgs are standard, wide. 2100 extra Michelin's go from 1800 to a whopping 5300 extra making the maximum price for this trailer $61,300 and think about it if I go out and buy my first truck my first if I got went out and bought my first truck being a brand new truck it would be a four, 2009 like 20 Ford Ranger that would not even cost close to this trailer okay think of if you're on a farm you already have a nice trailer. Say that you have this Joskin, which only costs you 35000 You have a brand new truck in mind, and you're like, okay, I have $61,000 to work with. I already have a perfectly suitable tra trailer that holds anything I need to, and I have that money to work with. What am I going to buy? A wasted trailer for 61000 or instead of getting that Ford Ranger, I can get an even better truck, a stock F-250 to have extra towing capacity being an F-250 2020. Oh my goodness, I don't know why somebody would think, okay, I'm going to buy a brand new trailer like this even though I have a perfectly suitable one. Sorry guys, I kind of uh, rambled on with that trailer. Now we move on to, I believe, is this the Stroutman? This might be the Stroutman. Nope, this is the Sweet Maker. If I bl slaughtered that name in the worst way, please don't roast me in the comment section. This is the Sweet Maker SIWA720. It is $55,000, and it did it again. Look at that. The K Agri liners, I actually knew were like this, where they're backwards in price, where the more expensive one is before the less expensive one. But I never knew that. How the K Agri liners before the Sweet Maker. 48,500 liters. This is an odd trailer. This can only hold chaff, wood chips, hay, straw, and grass, sugarcane, and silage. It cannot hold grain in any way, like corn, wheat, and barley, and oats, and crap like that. Standard wheels, or standard size and the extension will add only 3500 liters what that is not a good deal i mean you're paying a dollar per liter wow trelleborg wheels to uh, michelin wheels adds 2100 uh, dollars to make the maximum price for this sixty thousand six hundred dollars sixty sixty zero now we move on to even bigger joskin this is my all-time favorite trailer that is pulled by a tractor in this game this is the Drakkar 8600. It is $59,000 base price. It can hold 47,000 liters and can pull, hold anything in its capacity uh, radius. It can. It is either Trelleborgs or Michelins. Trelleborgs you either have standard or wides. Michelin you either have standards for 1800 or wides for 5300, making the maximum price for this tra uh, trailer $64,300. Now we move on to our first semi-trailer. This is the Crampe Kipper, what is the name? Oh wow, Al Alu Kipsatel KS950 Off-Road. I probably butchered that name as well. But this is the KS950, it is $62,000 base price, 48,000 liter capacity, and can be attached to any semi-truck and any tractor attached to a dolly. Trelleborg wheels or Michelin wheels, make your choice. 1100 added for Michelin wheels, making the maximum price for this, 
Now we move on to the Stroutman. This is so much bigger than the little itty bitty Stroutman over there. This is, what is it? The Stroutman Aperion 3401. This is $65,000 uh, base price. It is 52,000 liters. It ha can hold anything and can be changed from either Trelleborgs to Michelins and Ironically, it does not change in price. So $65,000 is the price you will pay. Now we move on to a very nice looking trailer. Although this, if only this thing could hold grain, I would be using this one so much. Just like the next one. This is the Annaberger Fieldliner HTS 3106. It is this one right here. It is $69,000 base price, 55,000 liter capacity, and can, once again, it is so weird how some of these trailers, they look so nice. I would use them so much more if this one could hold grain, but it only holds wood chips, chaff, um, grass, hay, and straw, sugarcane, and silage, unfortunately. In configurations, you can either have Trelleborgs or uh, Michelins. Michelins can go all the way up to a whopping $7,000, already the most expensive um, wheel configuration of all these trailers. And I think that is the most expensive wheel configuration of all these trailers I'll be reviewing. Cover, you can add. I don't like the cover on it just because it adds that weird bracket on the front and it extends out too far, you can see. It's $81,000 bay, a maximum price. Now we move on to our second row. Starting with the big crone. This is the TX 50, 560D. This one is expensive. Just like all the other ones so far. This is $72,000 base price. 56,000 liters. And can is just like the Annaberger, can only hold those seven items. Trelleborgs or Michelins doesn't add any price, but the cover adds three thousand, seventy-five thousand dollars maximum price. And here is one that was really odd. You have that um, Joskin Drakkar. Okay, go into here. You got the Joskin Drakkar right here. This can hold everything. It's fifty-nine thousand, or even go down from here to the first Josk in Transpace, it ha it holds 31,000. That is a very suitable amount of capacity. You already have that. It is a perfectly suitable trailer. And you are thinking, hmm, I have 80, or uh, let's just say I have $90,000 to spend. What am I going to do? Waste my money on an expensive $75,000 trailer or get myself a brand new Ford F-250 limited trim with all my fixings that I want, being bed liner, bull bar, clearance lights, tow mirrors, fifth wheel package, prep package, everything. I could pay probably for that close to $75,000 and, or instead get this Crone trailer for $75,000. And this one doesn't even hold grain, where that Joskin tr uh, um, Transpace holds grain. Sorry guys, I really got uh, off subject there. I just find it very funny that it's $75,000 for a trailer that doesn't even hold grain, and you could easily get a brand new pickup for that price. I mean, think about it. I don't, in my, in my real, in real life, I don't, um tow much of anything. The most I tow is just a little trailer with mowers on it to go mow my grandma's yard. Okay? So, for that, I could literally get an F-150. F-150. If I got my trim that I want, which would probably be a platinum at most, I could get that for this price. Okay? I don't need a huge trailer like this that doesn't even hold grain. Alright, let's move on so this video doesn't get extremely, insanely long. We have the load star distinction this is the uh, next semi trailer this is the first domestic semi trailer the one that is made here in the US of A this is $74,500 it holds 56,434 liters it can be attached to a truck and do or a tractor pulling a dolly this can only hold wheat barley 
oats, canola, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, seed, and solid fertilizer. Where, like trailers like this can hold all that extra little stuff like chaff, um, total mixed ration, and wood chips, and seed, grass, all that kind of uh, stuff. In here, you have either ma all your main color, which is black only, um, uh, configuration. You either have white, which doesn't cost anything, black costs 2000 Rim colors, I f personally like this phantom white, because most trailers you see won't have black rims unless it's like the Mafia or something. And a lot of trailers you won't see with chrome wheels. Because when you're hauling grain, most farmers don't want to waste money on chrome wheels and keeping them looking nice when they're literally just going to be going over like uh, corn stalks and stuff like that and getting them all dirty. So most uh, grain trailers you will see will be white rimmed. Design color can be all these. You've got a really big uh, selection for tarp color. I like this gray, making an extra one thousand dollars, making the maximum price for this Load King distinction seventy-seven thousand eight hundred dollars. Now we move on to the big crampy kipper. This one is right after the Load Star distinction. It is the SB230-1070. It is $78,000 base price, holds 59,000 liters, and Trelleborg's uh, wheel configurations, you have standard or wides for 1700 extra, and in Michelin you have 1700 or 3000 extra, making the maximum price for this $81,000. Now we move on to probably the most well-known semi-trailer for grain in the United States. This is the Wilson Pace Setter. This is my personal favorite. I love this trailer. I use it all the time. I prefer it over the Lodestar for only a f only a couple reasons. One, because it's just it's a box. I like it more than that tapered look of the Lodestar. And also for a console player like myself, but soon to be PC player, um, the Load King Distinction takes up. I think it's what, um, 17 slots where the pace setter only takes up six. So I can have more trailers and more other slots uh, used up if I just get a Wilson pace setter, which holds more too. But yeah, the Wilson pace setter is found right here. It is the last of the trailers we'll be looking at. It is the same price. If you guys remember from the Smoking the Bandit movie for a brand new semi truck, it is eighty thousand dollars. Sixty thousand liter capacity can be attached to a truck or a tractor pulling a dolly. Main color, you've either got stainless steel, which looks really cool with the shine, black. I don't personally like that as much, or pewter. The most common you'll see in the United States is white which I love. That's probably my favorite right there. But just to add for the maximum price, we'll just make it pewter, making the maximum price for this trailer $84,000. So that concludes the trailers section. Now we move on to our five auger wagons, or chaser bins, if you want to call it that. This first is a seed tender. This is the Eventerfirth Seed Runner 3755XL. You'll find this in the first slot of auger wagons. It is $20,000 base price, can hold 8,000 liters worth the grain, seed, or solid fertilizer. Mainly these things are used for either seed or fertilizer to uh, fill these up at your shop or whatever and take them out to the field to fill up your planters. This looks really cool because you can see you've got two hoppers, you've got two windows on the side there. This um, auger on the back turns and goes out to the side or it can be pulled out to the back and it actually changes um, hoppers from either the front or back which hide, holds either seed or fertilizer. $20,000 is the only price you get or to pay for this um, seed tender. Personally I like the modded version of this where it's gooseneck because the two base game trailers or trucks that you uh, can pull this they squat and t uh, pop wheelies like crazy when this thing's full. Now we move on to the Stara Reboke Ninja 19,000. I love this. It is probably my favorite of the um, five. This is $38,000 base price. It requires 81 kilowatts and 110 horsepower to operate. Holds 19,000 liters 
as stated in the name, uh, and can hold all, any type of grain and any type of seed and fertilizer, solid fertilizer. Trelleborg's wheels don't uh, cost anything, but Michelin wheels cost either 67000 for standards and 2450 for uh, wides. I like the standards more, and that is the more expensive, making the maximum price for this uh, auger wagon $44,700. Now we move on to the two most probably well-known grain cart brands next to Brent. This is the Kinsey 851, and the 851, this calls for bushels. 851 is approximately 30,000 liters, which is the liter uh, capacity of this. It requires 132 kilowatts and 180 uh, horsepower. $59,000 is the base price, but standards to wide tires adds 3000 making the maximum price for this auger wagon $62,000. Now we move on to the big brother of this 851. This is the 1051 with the wicked cool crawler tracks. And this thing is actually quite a bit more expensive as well. This has either Michelin tires, we'll go to tr uh, Lizard for 20000 Michelin for a maximum of 3000 and back to Lizard. So the maximum price for this auger wagon is $94,000. And it doesn't actually hold that much either. So that I don't actually like that much because of the price uh, difference. Now we move on to probably my favorite. I use this one all the time. This is the Elmer's Hallmaster 2000. 2000 is the bushels amount. And it holds... A maximum of 70,000 liters. So this thing actually holds more than that Wilson Pace Setter. This requires a whopping 294 kilowatts and 400 horsepower. So I usually paint this thing green or red and run the 8R or 380 Magnum on this. And it, uh, configurations are either, ma of course, main colors. You can have it from white to gray, gray to black, yellow. Uh, blue, orange, green, cloth colors. I love that color. That looks absolutely dope. But yeah, this is the main colors I usually use. I usually use either green or red. Maximum capacity can either be 1300, 1600 extension, or 2000 extension, going from a, a minimum of 46,000 liters to uh, 70,000 liters. 105,800, 105,800 liters total so that really concludes it i mean it is a really large amount of uh, grain holding things but they are all very cool i love all these things my favorite auger wagon is that elmer's hallmaster my favorite uh, uh semi-trailer is the wilson pace setter and my favorite uh pull behind tractor trailer like this is probably either of his joskin Transpace or Vijaskin Drakkar. So that concludes our first video on our in game uh, shop tour in the tools section. Next video, we will be reviewing all headers and uh, root crop technology. So that would mean the headers, forage headers, potato technology, beet technology, sugarcane technology, and cotton technology. If you want to see that video, please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell and hit the all bell. That will ensure that you get all these videos in real time as soon as I post them. If you liked this video and want to show some support for the channel, hit that like button. Views and likes really help the channel. It's not just a uh, numbers thing. It actually helps out the channel because every view and every like that I get will re recommend this video to it will, it will show YouTube that this video is becoming more popular. More people are watching it. So they will recommend it more to other viewers. So that will build up views for me. And it will allow me to make more videos for you. So it's a win-win for both of us. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this first video of the In-Game Garage Tour tool section. Like and subscribe. I am The Lone Wolf. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much, guys. By the way, guys, I'm here just looking through the market here, and I had to really, I really thought of something that I had to say. Thank you guys so much. You guys have pushed me to almost 10 subscribers, my first 10 subscribers of my brand, my new YouTube channel. I mean, 
that's probably my first big milestone since having a hundred uh, total views where now you guys have pushed me to over 200 views I mean I just can't tell you how much I appreciate it it has been so fun producing these videos for you guys and thank you guys so much I look forward to posting my next video so once this video hits five views I'll be posting my next in-game garage tour video and always remember that by the most popular or if there's not many comments I've just kinda decided that I will pick one small one medium and one large to use as well as one semi truck and a harvester that I'll use in my f upcoming series which by the way I've changed my mind about it will not only be on console it might be on console but it might also be on PC so on both Facebook and my YouTube comment sections for my most recent videos leave what console map or PC map I should use for my in my um, upcoming farming series that will be once I get through the entire garage which is all the tools all the objects and all the placeables and of course I might give like a little tour of how to use the landscaping tool but yeah thank you guys once again so much you guys are so important to me I thank God my mom my dad uh, my grandma and all of you viewers and you subscribers you guys have made my channel possible thank you again and I'll see you in my next video